right, Wallet Wednesday time. You know, 2020 has not been kind to many of our wallets, and I'm sure many of us are already looking forward to 2021. I mean, for so many reasons, yeah. but sure, for this too. But before we head into the new year, experts say now is the time to check off a few things on your financial to-do list. Financial advisor David Swanson is here to help. Good morning, David. Good morning, Jenny. Good, good morning, Emily. How are you guys? Uh, good. good. Good to see you again. So, uh, you know, we've been talking about how it has been rough financially mm -hmm. for a lot of people. So, um, you know, let's first talk about investments and consolidations. Is, is now the time to be looking at those things or making them? Well, with more and more and more people's jobs in question and the, and the general shift that we're having in the economy, it's more important ever, ever, ever to make sure that you, you take care of what your finances are, make sure that you're invested correctly, make sure that your bills are under control. Um, and if you have debts, those should be reduced um, as, as a high priority. But really focusing on making sure that you're in with your savings, the right places for your station in life, whether it be close to retirement or still having a decade or more to work uh, in your life. Okay, yeah, making sure that you are contributing enough to some of those accounts. I mean, speaking of retirement accounts, I know there are uh, some changes happening, I think, at the, at the state level with Oregon, right? Starting next year that people might want to start learning about. Yeah, this is for business people. We consult with a lot of business owners. Um, Oregon, by the 15th of next month, will have fully implemented the rule that requires all employers to have savings plans for their employees, and they must be compliant with the Oregon plan. There's only a couple of states that have this implemented in the United States right now. Oregon is one. Um, if you are not compliant with the rules, um, you will be subject to fines. Um, so if you don't have a retirement plan, get with your employer and make sure you do. If you're an employer, make sure you've looked um, at your plan or get one instituted by uh, the beginning, uh, right after the beginning of the year. The Oregon Saves Plan is the default plan for the state of Oregon. So if you don't have a plan, you will need to go to that. But if you have a plan and it's not compliant, it's the, the fees are too high, the, the, the rules aren't set in, in what the Oregon um, plan is, um, you could uh, face a penalty and you might want to reach out to someone to have them help you make sure your plan is in, in force properly. Mm, this is uh, gr great for a lot of people who are maybe just starting out in their mm -hmm. 20s. I wish I would have done something a lot sooner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, no, as far as uh, tax time, you know, that, that comes soon after the start of the new year. So now, of course, the time to get your documents together, maybe make any of those donations or anything you need to before the year's up. Yeah, um, there will be some of the greatest tax changes in the coming couple of years than we've seen, you know, maybe even in our lifetime. Pretty much everything that's that's um, put, been put in place in the last four years is pretty much scheduled to be uh, uh, modified in some way or another. So this may be the last year to really do tax planning. For example, capital gains rates uh, will more than likely be adjusted. Uh, income tax rates will probably be adjusted, certainly at the higher levels of income earners. So if you're going to do tax planning, you really need to get your stuff in, in order and decide what you need to do before the end of the year because rules will be different um, going forward. So what about things like uh, financial planning or estate planning? If you're if you're looking at this list thinking like, okay, there's there's a lot of stuff on here that I might need some help with. Is now a good time to reach out? You you there's it's never too late to be organized, planning your future. Um, some people just live each day at a time and they don't worry about it, and that's a great life to have um, until something some disaster happens, you get sick or uh, uh, something happens in your family and all of a sudden you need to draw on your resources and you just simply don't know where they are. They're scattered all over, they're not organized. So we really promote people um, to, to forecast out what they look like their income is gonna be, where their savings are gonna be yeah. from right now, really until the end of your life. And if you love your family, um, you know, build an estate plan, take a really strong look at developing um, a trust to transfer assets mm -hmm. um, versus the um, more traditional way of a will where you are involving probate and uh, yeah. um, much more problems associated with that than, than simply using a trust. So we well, have very good that. advice, Lots Dave. To think about. Yes, yeah. definitely. And of course, for more advice, you can reach out to Swanson Financial and Lake Oswego. We're going to put their info on coin.com.